Did you guys hear about the beef between Don the Dragon Wilson and Frank Dukes? If you don't know who these guys are, quick review. Don the Dragon Wilson, former world kickboxing champion, one of the few kung fu practitioners to earn that title through hard work, talent, and dedication. Frank Dukes of Bloodsport Infamy back in 1989. They made a movie called Bloodsport, loosely based on accounts that he gave in Black Belt magazine about this unbelievable secret underground fighting tournament called the Kumite that he allegedly won. Man, Frank Dukes, what can you say about that guy that hasn't been said already? But Don Wilson, a real legitimate kickboxing champion, posts on Facebook. He cuts and pastes on his Facebook page a list of the alleged accomplishments of Frank Dukes. And it's quite a long list. All the kumites that he won, all the world records that he broke, the bulletproof glass that he shattered with the palm of his hand, allegedly, and so on. No commentary on this post, just here is a list of the things that Frank Dukes has claimed to have accomplished over the years. No commentary. Now this sparked quite a discussion on Facebook in the comments. Hundreds of people chimed in about what a fraud Frank Dukes is, how awesome da Don the Dragon Wilson is, and this came to the attention of Frank Dukes. What did Dukes do? Well, he, he gave some backlash, and he called out Don Wilson, essentially saying, what have you ever done, buddy? You and your, your fake world kickboxing... Here's Frank Dukes, a proven fraud, calling Don Wilson a fake and a fraud, essentially. Ah, Don Wilson, with the patience of Job, not firing back, but posting about it. Let's read just a little bit of Dukes's response. This is Frank Dukes' response to Don's post detailing his world records, which Don Wilson simply cut and pasted from his Facebook page with no commentary on its truth or validity. He, um... Frank Dukes, he asks that I verify my titles, these are Don Wilson's words, that I verify my titles with the PKA and associations in which I was the number one contender for Bill Superfoot Wallace's middleweight world title, but never fought or never fought for or won. He is ignorant of my 28-year history of being a pro kickboxer. My advice to Frank, don't throw rocks at others when you live in a glass house. Frank Dukes wrote this, where is the PKA to verify your record, Don? At least the remnants of IFAA and Black Dragons publicly verify my record. The Black Dragon Society is, um... Isn't that from Mortal Kombat? Did Mortal Kombat get that from Frank Dukes? They were like the bad guys, one of the factions of the bad guys in, in the Mortal Kombat mythos. But anyway, the Black Dragon Society, supposedly those are the guys who put on the secret underground kumite that Frank Dukes won. And they publicly verify his records, even though this uh, secret Black Dragon Society is nowhere to be found because it's a secret. Anyway, an organization you were denied entry to, and decades later where rules of entry were abandoned, allowing people like Goldberg entry. I don't know who Goldberg is, and shortly thereafter asked to leave. Who is starting up this role-playing Black Dragon Legion thing? Goldberg and your crowd of posers. I feel embarrassed for him and you. And this goes on for several pages, basically calling Don Wilson a fake and a phony and a poser. Wow. Wow. The wicked take the truth to be hard. Don Wilson didn't say, hey, Frank Dukes, all of these claims of yours are fake. He simply put them out there in the public space to be discussed. He didn't say, Frank Dukes, I think you're a liar and a fraud. He simply posted, this is what has been said about Frank Dukes. These are the claims he has made. That's it. But this went on. This went on for several, several posts. Don Wilson went on to post this one day ago. 
Jay Cooper posted this response from Frank Dukes regarding why his fights, quote-unquote fights, are not on YouTube. He states that when he posts them, detractors complain so much that they must be removed. Oh yeah, and his students are granted the right to view his fights after testing under him. Frank Dukes claims hundreds of wins, so they must be a great training tool for his students. Frank Dukes wrote this. Jay Cooper, to the contrary, videos exist, and like the fights themselves, they are not made public. No different than what goes on among Masons stays among Masons. Kumite I participated in are sanctioned by historians of government sport bodies in countries that sponsor the fights. The event is not about fighting for glory, but honor, as verified by Black Belt magazine when it was happening. As I stated, it is a learning experience, the very nature of the event versus putting butts in seats, as in Don's case, proves a different paradigm exists. That's where people go wrong trying to compare kickboxing and even MMA to what I did in the past. As for footage, my students were treated to it as they earned that right if they tested under me. You can ask any of mine that were around in the 1980s. Sky Benson, Joe Tintari, Dr. Bermudis, etc. Whenever footage does get posted of my fighting, I find it comical how my detractors will go so far as to write dozens of complaints to remove them. And this goes on for some time. So, this is really interesting. Frank Dukes is claiming that he actually has footage, videos, of these Kumite matches where he has set these world records, which he is get, getting very angry and upset about Don Wilson for reminding the world of that apparently they exist and they happened. But Don... <laughs> Help me understand this, guys. Help me understand what is happening here. A world kickboxing champion, Don Wilson, posts the alleged accomplishments of Frank Dukes, which Frank Dukes claims are true, and that there are videos of this proving that it's true. Don Wilson just puts this out there. This is what Frank Dukes claims. Frank Dukes gets mad about it. He says, how dare you post these claims that I made? I have video proof that these claims that I've made are claims that I've made. Eh. There's no reasoning with people like this, I think. It's fascinating, though. There's more, though. Also, one day ago, Don Wilson posted this. <sighs> My message from Frank Dukes and its inferred meaning. Frank W. D Dukes wrote this. There you go, like your pal Steve Lambert, putting words in my mouth that I never said. And bear in mind, Don Wilson has not replied to Dukes in any way, shape, or form other than posting Dukes' list of alleged accomplishments. There you go, putting words in my mouth that I never said. Interesting Mickey Mouse clown show you're leading, Don. Kind of funny how you spun my words to fit your own meaning pasted them up out of real context. The context was, these are the claims that Frank Dukes has made. These are his alleged... He didn't even say alleged. It just said, a list of Frank Dukes world records and accomplishments, period. But you posted them up out of context. I didn't say you weren't a champion, Don. Regardless of how you hide behind and repeat libelous defamation, repeat gossip, speculation, and hearsay to grab attention at my reputation, expense, my statement is obviously lost on you, or you are being deceptive. My asking, where is the PKA inferred that there exists different methods to corroborate titles and records? Mine are corroborated and listed by the organization that participated in the events, like how... WBC issues a title. The paradigm of proof is obviously different, because the events are totally different. Where you have me at a disadvantage is yours were public, and is all about putting butts in seats, whereas we didn't fight for money and fame as our matches were by invitation. It's kind of turning into a broken re record, repeating about how the Kumite was for honor, not for glory. 
What's the difference there? What is the difference between fighting for honor and fighting for glory and fighting for personal pride? And Eh, I don't see it. I don't really see a difference. But this goes on for some time. Frank Duke's posts are long. They are long. Don Wilson, a few hours ago, posted this. Frank Dukes, I rest my case, your honor. I have no bad feelings regarding Frank. This is not personal in any way, despite his disrespectful response to the truth. This is an example of why high-ranking, experienced martial artists are required to take an active part in policing ourselves, when fake accolades are allowed to be claimed over and over with little or no resistance, people actually believe this nonsense. It hurts all legitimate students of the fighting arts when someone is allowed for years to claim what we all know is false. The truth matters. Amen, Don Wilson. The truth matters. A few weeks ago, our friend Icy Mike posted a video that didn't get a whole lot of traction on his channel, not one of his more popular videos. It was titled something along, something along the lines of the biggest myth in martial arts, and uh, this video rubbed me the wrong way, and I'd like to comment on that. And what Mike felt the biggest myth in martial arts was, was that fake martial arts instructors, make dojos, etc., are harmful in any way, shape, or form, that these claims and these schools can get people hurt. And Mike believed this was not true, and, man, I would strongly disagree with him there, because I've seen so much evidence to the contrary. I have seen people getting hurt because of fakes and frauds and liars. When I first moved here to Shanghai, I went into business with a American mixed martial arts enthusiast who had a similar interest in opening up a gym here in Shanghai, and it seemed like a good idea, it seemed like he had his head screwed on straight, and he turned out to be a huge fraud and a pathological liar and an absolute martial arts fraud who lied about his rank, his record, and everything else. And this guy got people hurt. He got people physically hurt. Not to mention, not to mention the financial cost to many individuals that I knew personally, and myself. Lying is harmful. Spreading misinformation is harmful. Misinformation about physical culture especially. I mean, this kind of behavior, would this be tolerated among, say, a weightlifting instructor, an Olympic weightlifting instructor, where it is your job to teach people to lift tremendous weights up over their heads without getting injured. And if I don't know how to clean and jerk and snatch, and I'm just making stuff up and telling people these things, oh yeah, just do it this way and that way, and they are throwing their backs out and dropping weights on themselves and physically getting hurt or killed. Nobody's going to tolerate that. Nobody should tolerate that in the weightlifting community. And yet, that same exact behavior is tolerated in the martial arts community. Because we have accepted this, oh, to each their own mentality, which sucks. Not to each their own. This is physical culture. Lives are on the line. Fighting is an inherently dangerous sport. Martial arts is inherently dangerous. There is a risk of serious injury or death if you do it wrong. And there are a lot of people out there doing it wrong. 
So shame on anyone. Shame on anyone who excuses this kind of bad behavior. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train. Xmarshall.com. Don't forget to use my code RAMSEY10 for 10% off literally everything on the website. It helps this channel out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, get out there and train.